This is Avatars Radio News on the Hour. Give us five minutes and we'll give you the metaverse. This is News on the Hour for January 23rd, 2023. I'm Alain Dragonfire reporting. The Lunar New Year for 2023 is taking place right now. Several games are hosting special events based on the upcoming Year of the Rabbit. In the real world, traditionally, it is time when Chinese families come together to celebrate the new year by sharing a huge bowl of long-life noodles. But hundreds of millions of young people may be more excited by the prospect of extra screen time to play online video games this coming week as the country temporarily relaxes strict controls designed to combat internet addiction. In 2019, Chinese government regulators restricted minors' playing time to 60 minutes a day and banned them from playing between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Chinese people under 18 are officially allowed only three hours a week, 60 minutes each on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But for the week-long Lunar New Year holiday, they get an hour a day, meaning four hours of additional gaming time. Starting on January 19th and lasting until today, Pokemon Go will revamp its cherished title to cater to the Year of the Rabbit, allowing fans to earn finite gifts and undergo time-sensitive challenges. With increased chances to catch rare Pokemon, purchase exclusive Avatar skins, and even partake in themed field research tasks. The Lantern Rite Festival returns to mobile MMORPG Genshin Impact in 2023 with exquisite Night Chimes event. It includes a new racing game called Radiant Sparks that lets players join in the firework festivities of Li Yu. Starting on January 22nd and lasting until the 29th, Animal Crossing will grant its devoted fans with various purchasable gifts and ornaments typically designed as house decorations. In addition to this, Nintendo's warm wishes over the period will be expressed through its adorable village characters. Apex Games brings the Celestial Sunrise Collection event this Lunar New Year. Along with plenty of themed cosmetics, including a Lucky Rabbit Octane and Dragon Warrior Pathfinder, as well as a new limited time mode called Hardcore Royale. Riot's competitive FPS Valorant is ringing in the new year with the launch of a dedicated skin selection in their cash shop. Overwatch 2's Year of the Rabbit event sees a selection of time-limited modes returning to the arcade, including Bounty Hunter CTF and CTF Blitz. Lijang Tower will be lit up with fireworks and players can earn Chachi Echo Legendary Skin and Moira Legendary Mask Dancer Skin through event challenges and Twitch drops, as well as new cash shop items. Dead by Daylight has the Moonlight Burrow event to enjoy until January 24th. The game's lobby and generators have been given a makeover and all previous Lunar Cosmetics are on sale in the store. Red envelope offerings can also be left during matches, allowing others to claim them for a blood point reward to both offerer and claimer. Daily login rewards and promo codes are also promised. Rocket League's Lucky Lantern's Lunar New Year event, the Forbidden Temple Arena, is set between pagodas amid towering rocky peaks. Playing matches during the event will earn red envelopes, which can be redeemed for Lunar New Year themed rewards. The event started January 20th and runs until February 17th. World of Warcraft's Lunar New Year event goes from February 5th to the 19th, granting players the opportunity to purchase seasonal attire and fireworks. Many more games are offering Lunar New Year themed items and events. Be sure to check your favorite online games for information. That is all the news of the hour on January 23rd, 2023. To read the full articles of today's report, visit us on Discord at www.avatarsradio.rocks on the web.